Who is your favorite female character in contemporary media? Hmm. Do I have to pick just one? Okay. Uh, I think Lily from How I Met Your Mother. Let's see. Um, Parker from Leverage. Um, Elspeth and Glinda from Wicked. Probably Mulan from the movie Mulan, which was made in the 1990s, I think. Um, Homestuck has a lot of good ones, um, most of them actually, but especially Rose and, um, uh, Rose Alonde, um, Terezi Pyrobe and Canary Miriam. Um, oh, Violet Baudelaire from Season, from the Season of Unfortunate Events, that's a great one. Oh, uh, Commander Shepard from Mass Effect series. J Jocelyn is a massive of this, so almost anybody from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but especially Willow, I think, and then Firefly, you've got Kaylee, and you've got River, and Inara, and Zoe, um. Um, Major General Olivia Mira Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist. Um, Scout from To Kill the Mockingbird, Scott's great. Um, Trilly from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, Violin from Twelfth Night and Rosaline from As You Like It, though that's not really contemporary, that's 400 years ago. Um, Lady Gaga, or also known as Stephanie Germanotti. And... Um, oh, Harry Potter has some, um, Hermione Granger, and Luna Lovegood, and Infidora Tonks, and, um, Narcissa Black, even, um, uh... I'm gonna go with Donna Noble, because Donna Noble's really awesome. Donna Noble from... Uh, Doctor Who. Doctor Who, you've got, um, Romana, and Donna Noble, and Charlie Pollard, and, uh, Martha Jones, and, oh, and Sarah, oh, Sarah Jane Smith, who not only is such a great character, but also had her own show when she was, you know, 60s, and it was this great view of motherhood, and how oh, awesome, um. Right now, it would probably have to be Elle Burke from, um, White Collar. Cause... Mother from Ragtime, um, just a complete, I, um, not, not an icon, but a, um, personification, a, a um, a metaphor for the entire women's rights movement and the first wave of feminism, the right to vote, the tens and teens and twenties of the ninth of the twentieth century. Um, Barbara Walters. Chelan Glados from Portal. Okay, how come? Lily is um, actually most representative of my uh, girlfriend in that she's really understanding. She's a she's a really you know kind of strong female character but at the same time she's not like overly strong like people have tried to kind of make her look stronger than you know she actually is she's just herself you know it just seems to be a genuine female character and she's got a quirky sense of humor um she she was displayed as someone who never fit into her social stereotype when she lived at home with her parents as you know the daughter of a small king's holding or something like that um, but she joined the military and she was able to rise in the ranks and she fought for what she believed in and Mulan just came out to be a strong female character that actually had positive female roles for the children that were watching that movie um, the Mass Effect series does not require uh it, it is not does not require you to be female. It has a gender neutral protagonist. You get to choose the gender, um, but many people choose to play as a female Commander Shepard, and in that you, as a female Commander Shepard, you play as uh, a woman who kicks ass, takes names, all the bubblegum. Um, she. As a female uh, shepherd, I myself have played a female shepherd twice, um, and it, you save the galaxy from threats to humanity. It's uh, a very strong portrayal of a female character. She is not. She has probably the most agency out of any character I've ever seen in media. Um, she is in command of her own life and is not subject to any other people's uh, commands. She is, she is a uh, master of her own destiny. Brilliant and such a badass. Uh, and, oh, she is the major general of uh, this big army post uh, in northern Amstris, like, which is the most 
extreme climates there and she survives fabulously and oh she's just and she breaks down racial barriers too within her barracks she has no use for any kind of racial prejudice within her army where the entire thing is the point is to survive and anything else doesn't really matter i feel like she is doing a lot of good things such as standing up for anti-bullying campaigns and also standing up for the mac um, lipstick uh, anti-aids um, campaign to find a cure or better medications for the hiv and aids virus How are she's one of the few characters on tv who is she is the wife of the main character but that's not the only sh thing she is that's a very small part of her character actually she also runs her own catering company she gets kidnapped once and like before her husband who is a policeman gets there she manages to escape she's just and all of fandom were um not surprised there was no one going oh my god that was the most brilliant moment ever because we knew she was going to be able to do it herself barbara walters can you expound more on to why because she has created a place in the um television field sharing her opinions interviewing important people um being one of the first women to be in broadcasting and have her own show and have people respect her and giving her opinions and interviewing and being respected by the people who she does interview. Kind of a lot of them actually.